How we doing? Have a good day. Seven fourteen back on the trail. Water, water is quite challenging to get on Pilgrim's Way, and so I, I ran out this morning. I walk past this house and you can see a tap on the outside. Now the thing is though, it's like 7.30 in the morning. Do you knock on the door to go and ask if you need their water or do you just use it? So nine times out of ten, it was a little bit later on, I would knock and ask. But when it's super early, I just used it. I love a little bit of uh, street art and that's awesome. Yeah. This is a Ramblers and Cyclists rest stop. There is shelter and there's also a water refill your water bottle here so that's good to know especially if you've done the last section right let's carry on so we're going to walk past well we've already walked past this mural and yes the the pilgrim's way continues down the side of the dirty habit that's the side of the dirty habit after the houses the way is across open country as it rises on the side of the valley so these signs are actually useful they've actually got like the names of the town and the distances so this is where i'm going to next harriet sham which is two and a quarter miles away and then that is the end of stage 12 which is actually really exciting because then stage 13 is 11 miles The next section is heading to Lenham, which is two miles away. Hello, up here, got a little friend, like a pilgrim having a little nap. How are we doing? Having a good day. Another signpost. Still on the pilgrim's way, obviously, and we're heading to Charing which is four and a quarter miles. Okay, so I know it's a North, the North Downs Way sign, but Canterbury is only 21 miles. Only 21 miles. Okay, my, I'm in quite a lot of pain now. Like my foot is, the front of my foot by the tendon is really starting to throb and ache. And I feel like it's extending like from here all the way up this section. Um, so I'm just focusing, focusing on my breathing. It has, it has definitely gotten a little chillier the buff has come out and the jacket has come out. I found a seat. I think it's called Ralph's. Ralph. Ralph Blake. Thank you, Ralph. Like, oh my God, my back is killing me. Anyway, I'm going to have some food. The tent's going to dry out for a little bit there. I'm so... I know, I probably... <laughs> I feel as though I'm whinging a lot. Like, I feel so tired and my legs are just throbbing. I also don't know if my leg looks swollen, like down here. 
because this is look at this is all swollen oh anyway we'll let it rest for a little bit and take my shoe off all good right i'm gonna have some food recharge rest up and then we'll get moving again i'm just gonna add water to it and it's going to turn into this like chocolatey concoction. I think it's time for a new pair of socks. A little hole here and a little hole over here. Hello. 380 miles. Yep. I've got my ankle support on. Time to get the sock on, the shoe on, and get moving. Pilgrim milestone. Okay, I can see the white horse and there's like loads of people hanging about outside. I'm just so smelly. Do I care? I am totally in love with the club. So um, I'm at the white horse at 5.30. Um, oh, I'm gonna have a gin and tonic, which I've already ordered. Yay. And I'm gonna check out the food menu and see what to order but oh, I just love that dog so much, that dog's amazing. Um, if you go there, that would be amazing. Dun, 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 yep, go for it. Yay, <laughs> thank you. Perfectly fine. I so deserve this. Chicken burger with bacon, and mayo, and salad, and chips. How good does this look? A syrupy sponge with custard. I so deserve this. This is oh, it smells amazing. So it is 6.45. I'm leaving the White Horse now. Oh, what a fabulous, fabulous club of your children. You have to go and visit it. The food is amazing. The service is outstanding. Everyone was like super friendly. And the dog, oh my God, I think the dog is called Colt. Um, I want to say a husky, but it's just this big, gorgeous, beautiful dog. This is stage 15, page 156. So we join the bottom of Churchill and keep ahead to the main road. Hello, main road. Cross over to go ahead into Long Hill. So that is Long Hill right ahead. Um, obviously just going to be paying lots of attention when I cross this road. Stop, look and listen. Yay, no traffic, no traffic. So this is an Oast house, O-A-A, O-A-F-T house. Um, I'm not quite sure why they're called that and whether or not I'm even like pronouncing it correctly. So next junction, turn right for just a few yards, take the footpath on the left which runs straight ahead gently downhill. Okay. Got all that? Ready, let's go. I spoke, to, I spoke too soon. We have to keep going to the very bottom of this road. And I think these OAS oust houses, the ones with like the funny roof. So I can see a couple more down there. So I think that makes more, that makes more sense. And also looking at the map in the book, I do need to go further. So oopsie, error on. Oh, I'm gonna walk on the grass. Oh, it's easier on my feet. Um, yeah, I've got to read the instructions carefully. I missed out on the go to the very end. So at the very end, there'll be a junction. The time is 7.21, so now I'm gonna start looking for the and pink. Like, to be honest, like this looks pretty good, but it's just a little bit too close to the road. So I'm gonna carry on because we are entering the countryside now. Down, ooh, I hope this is the path. Ooh, should've walked on the other side. This isn't very nice. Oh God, don't trip. Ooh. 
I think I'd rather be walking on that side. But they've sent us down here for a reason. So I'll see what happens when we get to the bottom and see if there's any viable options.